Welcome to the Higher Altitude Performance Maneuvers. The first performance maneuver we will study is the steep turn. It's an important skill needed to reverse course in a tight space. A steep turn is a turn that continues to tighten if not checked. This is because of wing dihedral. Unchecked shallow bank turns return to level. Unchecked medium bank turns tend to remain in the turn while unchecked steep bank turns continue to steepen. This leads to overbanking, increased airspeed, and the loss of altitude. As you practice steep turns, you will learn to use them for quick course reversals, to view something on the ground, or just for fun. You'll perform them without losing altitude, overbanking, and you'll roll out level on any heading of your choice without gaining altitude. As a private pilot, your steep turns are 45 degrees of bank, and as a commercial pilot, your steep turns are 55 degrees of bank. No matter which you're practicing, you'll learn how to enter the steep turn, how to maintain it for as many revolutions you want, and how to smoothly exit the turn on a heading. Okay, let's continue. Over banking, the higher wing travels a greater distance in the same time than the lower wing. As a result, it generates more lift, which in turn rolls the aircraft into a steeper turn. Use your ailerons to prevent overbanking while simultaneously using rudder to counter adverse yaw and maintain coordinated flight. Lift vectors. Lift vectors are split and the horizontal component of lift pulls strongly in a horizontal direction. Since this energy has moved from vertical to horizontal, you have to replace it to stay level. There are two ways, which are one, add power, and two, increase back elevator pressure. Centrifugal force. In straight and unaccelerated level flight, all forces of weight are downward. Lift equals weight and the load factor is one. However, in a turn, centrifugal forces increase. These centrifugal forces, when added to weight, increase the load factor.